In this video, I'll be showing how you can de-age or age a person. This can be useful for having flashback or flash-forward scenes in films, or just for fun. It can also change the context of a scene. For instance, this one, the original appears to be two friends talking. The de-aged one looks more like a daughter talking to her mother. And the last two could be an older relative or mother talking to her daughter. You can also take a piece of footage and fade the aged and de-aged versions together to create a nice age transition clip. To do this, you'll need free software called EB Synth, Face App, which is also free, and although you can use any video editing software, it's best for this to use After Effects and Premiere Pro. To get started, create a folder with a name that references the project, in this case, Woman Talking, and add two new folders, one called Sequence and one called Keys. Next, go to your piece of footage that you wish to de-age in whatever video editing software you're using, in this case Premiere Pro. And I recommend adding a timecode to it, which I'll explain in a bit. Just make sure it's somewhere away from the person you're de-aging. It will be removed during the final stages. Next, export the footage as a JPEG sequence to the sequence folder you just created. It takes about 20 seconds for 5 seconds of footage with my PC, although this will vary depending on your system. You'll now have a load of JPEG images. In this case it's a 25 frames per second video at 5 seconds, so about 130 images. Next, I'm going to select the first frame, woman talking 000, and five more frames at 25 frame intervals. You can sometimes get away with just using one random frame, but I find that picking about one per second of footage works best. Make a folder on your phone called something like Face App Images and drag these keyframes into it. Now you can access these directly from Face App on your phone, but I prefer to use Samsung DeX so that I can do it via my PC, which makes it much easier. Open Face App and you should see these images ready to process. If any aren't showing up, Go to Gallery and select the specific folder they're in, in this case Face App Images. Next, you'll need to select each one in turn and apply the filter and save. I'm using the Teenage one for this to show the most contrast. The images can get shuffled around, which is why the timecode is useful, as it lets you keep track of which image is which. Next, go to Phone, Pictures, Face App, and the de-aged pictures should be in that folder. Copy and paste them into the Keys folder you created earlier. The keyframe names have to exactly match the names of the originals, which is again where the timecode is useful. Copy and paste the file names from the corresponding sequence JPEGs to the keyframe file names. So for example, in this case, woman talking 000 is the one with the 708 timecode. So find the relevant one in the keyframe folder and apply that name. Do this for all of the keyframes. For this one, there are six. Next, open EB Synth. Click on the Select button next to Video and double click just the first frame in the Sequences folder. Next, click Select on Keyframes and select the first frame in the Keys folder. Then click on Advanced and you can play around with this, 
but I like to go with 1.5 D flicker and high synthesis detail. Hit run all and then wait. With my RTX 3080 this process takes about a minute per second of footage. If you get an error message it's because FaceApp has created a different size for the keyframes than they should be so you'll need to resize each of the keyframes to match the originals. In this case it would be 1920 by 1080. Now that it's finished click export to After Effects Choose the correct frame rate for your footage, in this case 25, and it will automatically create a sequence in After Effects with the finished footage. Save that After Effects project. Go back to the Premiere Pro project with the original file, import, and open that After Effects project in Premiere Pro and select the comp. You will now have that sequence available to drag into your timeline. Place it on top of the original one and they should match up. Draw an opacity mask around the timecode part on the new footage and invert to hide it. Sometimes the face up footage is lighter or darker so you might need to adjust to get it to blend correctly. Increasing the feathering also helps. For the aging one, to save time, just copy and paste the same base folder, but delete the output folders in the copy. Go back to FaceApp and do the same thing with those same keyframes, but this time applying the old filter. When they're saved, drag these from the FaceApp folder into the new keys folder and do the same thing with matching the file names. The de-aged keyframes which are in there can be deleted. Sometimes there'll be issues with distortion, for example here where the coffee cup passes across the neck. A mask with a decent amount of feathering and adjustments made to exposure, temperature, etc. can help to remove this. You'll almost certainly need to use this kind of technique for eyes and mouths, although adding more keyframes can sometimes also fix this. And that's it for this part. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing how to use the same technique to change gender. Thanks for watching.